There is no audio. That's on me. No, there's audio. Yeah, you're live. Okay, welcome He's everyone. Up. Saturday morning cartoons. Is the uh, user game audio going through, or is it just silent here? Uh, no, game audio should be going through. No game audio. No game audio. That's my bad, I forgot to double check. Quiet. I think my audio setup specifically is kind of fucked. Hang on. Uh, how's this? That should be better. I can't make the audio any better, unfortunately. Oh! Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, I can hear. There we go. It's better. Are both better now? Yes, I think so. Right, how's, the, how's the game audio, Discord audio, stream? Welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons. Discord audio needs to be two times. Two times? Let me make sure it's not my fault. Uh, it's, oh. not, it's not my fault. You sure? I mean, it's all you. You're, you're being Discord audio through you. Fuck. <laughs> then it's my fault. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's cool. Um, Nox is quiet. I'm quiet because I'm leaning. Yeah. I'm going, I'm leaning. I can yeah. stream my Discord audio, but then it'll be delayed on the feed. It'll be kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, is it bad? Oh, don't Terrible. Do First thing I ever heard. Oh. Let's be honest here. Yeah, <laughs> the game is a little hard, but... Can you just hear the turn the game down a bit? Oh, I'll turn the game down, sure. I can't hear the... I'm not monitoring my game audio at all. I'm coming straight from my TV and my ear. Hey, yo? This yeah. is the secret game? This is so sick. Yeah, agreed. I thought you were gonna say something completely different. No! <laughs> this is the secret <laughs> game? What a rule. total letdown. <laughs> Alright, this game yeah, this is fucking blows. This is boring as shit. I've heard you talk about this game before. I feel like this was guessable. Alright, how's audio, y'all? It's good enough. Right. Alright, let me check my difficulty one more time. It's imperative that we play on easy because easy is the fastest difficulty. Um, so this is uh, Donald, M Mickey and Donald, Mickey Toe Donald, Magical Adventure 3 for the Super Famicom. Um, if you played Magical Quest or Great Circus Mystery, this is the sequel to those games that we did not get in the West. Uh, very comfy, cozy, very chill speed game. Uh, we're playing as Donald, because Donald's cooler than Mickey. Um, and with that, I'm quiet now. Yeah. yeah. Turn yourself up a little bit. Alright, how about now? That should be better, I hope. Uh, looks fine. I moved my mic a little closer, too, so I should probably be... Boomy. You didn't get louder in Discord, I will say. Oh, I okay. like like in Discord. I'm looking at the okay. audio feed. Yeah, I turned I turned it up in in OBS too. All right. Are y'all is um, that good? Chat room. Yeah, I think we're okay. Good. good. Okay, you're good. I'll count you down. All right. Three, two, one, go. Donald Easy. So Donald Easy. Um, if you played any of the other Mickey games, it's pretty straightforward gameplay. You can't really go super fast. You just try to... In this game in particular, it has these down slopes, like that, where Donald starts to run a little bit, and we want to abuse that as much as possible. Strat's really hard, I'm glad I got it. Uh, so yeah, this game is just all vibes. It's vibes central. Uh, every stage has a unique theme, it has a really cool background track, um, all the enemies are different, for the most part. Uh, 
um, pretty standard, like, stage, mini-boss, stage-boss setup. It is so much easier to do this instant jump out of the water on console. Holy oh, shit. Yes, you look like you're Mega Man X. <laughs> well, if I don't... If, I, if I'm holding that block and I don't do the quick jump off the surface of the water, you just die. You just fall and die. Oh, oh no shit. <laughs> well, damn. Easiest boss in the game, and I screwed up the first hit and the second hit. Takes three hits to kill this turkey. And then we get our first suit. If you're familiar with the Magical Quest games uh, in general... Whoops. Start button on this controller doesn't work. Um... Every stage, every, for the first three or four stages, you're given a costume that you can change into freely. Um, and give you special abilities and such. Donald's is, uh, he's got this big hammer that I'm going to smash people with. And then if you press down, you can also hide in the barrel and roll around in it. It's pretty cheeky. I was like, why is he got a barrel? <laughs> and a, 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 pan, a pot lid on his head. Or a pot, not a pot lid. <laughs> Do that hammer right there, sort of extends my jump so I can get up on the ledge. Um, this game is very easy to play in general, but like as far as a speedrun setting goes, it's like really hard to optimize. In addition to, whoops, in addition to there being a bunch of RNG, um, there's a lot of really tough uh, skill time saves as well. Like, tiny ones, too. This one in particular is pretty large, um, but I'm not going to be successful at it. You can two-hit this guy per cycle if you're really, really good. It's very hard to do, though. I'll try and go for it once. Okay, I missed it. It's not safe to go for more than once because he will juke you like that. If I had gone for it, I wouldn't have been able to hit him twice there. He's going to hit me. And then he does shit like that, too. Okay, we're through phase one. Phase one is pretty clean. Phase two, uh, I get to beat his naked pit pig body with a hammer. Do that uh, to me, Ness. Nice. Right. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There we go. I'm dead. And then we go to the corner. <laughs> Yeah, you can corner infinite him, which, which is what I tried to do, but I got fucking owned. Whoa, pig, indeed. <laughs> Alright, next stage, the forest stage. This is my personal favorite costume for Donald, um, is the mountain climber. He gets this cool hoodie, just from this guy who just comes down from a tree and is like, Hey, man! You're gonna need this to proceed. Um, and it's too big for Donald, of course, because he's a duck. But, uh, yeah, I use that little belt he's holding to, like, climb uh, cylindrical objects like these vines. And then I can propel myself forward really fast by s side swapping. You can press left and right to side swap while you're holding it. And then if you jump, you keep, you keep that momentum and go fast. It's nice. Looks sick. And then you can ride these little rails, too. It's very cool. Does Mickey get different powers in this game? Uh, not really. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta do a short jump there. It's fine. I wasn't thinking about it. Did that just not consume a life? Did I not go from two to one? You went from three to two. Okay, I, I did have three. Okay. That's fine. It's all good. Lives aren't super important, but I try to minimize unintentional deaths. So this boss, um, the hot dog mosquito, or hot dog butterfly, I guess. Um, you're just gonna hit her with your butt? Yeah, you're shaking that up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Don, Donnie shakes it, for sure. You can also just jump on him, too. But, um, you gotta hit him with the ass. You gotta hit him with the ass, exactly. Uh, Alright, well, we're just walking. Um, so in that case, I won't. Normally, I would blow a death at the end, um, 
to, you know, throw away one of my lives because you can quick swap while you're dead to different costumes. Um, I'm, not, I'm just not going to do that. Oops. Grab the thing. There we go. This is a co-op game, too, so if you want, like, a nice, chill co-op experience. Um, unfortunately, you can't, like, speed up any of the bosses or anything. But it's... It's still neat. It's a neat little game. Uh, we did eventually get this game on the GBA, I believe, in the West. But, obviously, inferior. Um, so this boss is really, really easy. You just jump on his head and hold D. And that's it. Hey, we're kidding. Okay, so normally I'd fall in the pit, and then in the balloon you can swap to different costumes, and then pop out of the balloon as that costume without, like, wasting time. Um, but since I died earlier in the stage, I'm just gonna forego that and eat the time loss. Which is not a big deal. It's a minor time save. Uh, next stage is kind of cool. You get a, a cameo from Huey, Dewey, and Louie. The boys. Uh, but first we're going to play as normal, standard Donald for a second. Just barely make that jump on top of the Mickey. Okay, there's a cutscene here. Actually, I think it's just the red one. Whose name I don't remember. I'm gonna assume it's Huey. So this boss is, um, oops. You gotta hit him to break him down, and then jump on his head to actually do damage. Um, and I'm abusing, like, I stand right next to him in the barrel, so that when he throws his horns like that, it just starts going back to him immediately, and does no damage to me, and I can just safely press Y out of the barrel to hit him every time. Very easy boss fight. I gotta switch back. I'm about to get a new costume. I think that's right about where I start this cutscene. It's like right there-ish. Okay. Now Huey is gonna come back. And I'm gonna yell at him. Wait, what? Oh, I guess if you skip the cutscene fast enough, Donald doesn't get mad. But if you don't press start fast enough, he'll start doing his stomping and yelling animation. Which I guess I just skipped. So now I've got a new costume here. I get this big finger. And I can blow it at enemies and turn them into things. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I just wanted to show it off, man. turn the flowers into these little bounce pads. And... Yeah. It's chill. Also, every song in this game, every stage song, is ranges from pretty good to really good. Even if it's just a little ditty. Uh, so, shoutouts. The composer really uh, was smoking weed on this one. Extra life into a death abuse here. I'm gonna skip part of the stage by just ballooning up. Nice. Easy. Alright, so biggest RNG boss in the game. Uh, you want him to do the tornado in the center, anything else loses time. You can only hit him one way. Thankfully, on easy, it only takes two hits to kill. Oh, I missed. We're good. Do it again, please. Ah. Uh. Come on, man. This is not a great pattern. <laughs> there we go. 
I'm dead. It's over. Alright, nice clean stage three. No problems. Just bad RNG. We lost 20 seconds. 24, in fact. So, uh, everyone's favorite stage from Rondo of Blood uh, is back in Mickey 3, but worse. Rondo Belmondo? There's actually no pirate ship, even though the world map. Sort of shows a pi I mean, there is, but it's not that cool. Uh, it's not that sweet, I'll be honest. It's not like stage 5 Rondo of Blood. Anyway, you got a big auto scroller here. The, the goal of the auto scroller is to simply not die. And believe it or not, with these parachute enemies, it's kind of difficult. Because they drop them, they home on you. And this weapon that I'm using, if it wasn't already clear, is kind of awkward. So, your best bet is to really just stay towards the bottom of the screen, and not get hit. Uh, I'm gonna do a little tricky-do at the top of the screen. No. Just a little one. <gasps> this song is great, I like this song a lot, by the way, it's very chill. Um, going on a grand adventure here. So this platform right here, I'm just going to ride it up and up and up and up until we can no longer see Donald. And then I'm going to jump to the door. No, there was a ship though. Yeah, well. Oh. Trust me, the pirate ship fun is not over yet. So this mini boss, huge RNG again. Uh, he can either jump or shoot his cannons at you after he jiggles. Uh, he jumps always after you hit him, but he can just jump again. Yeah, yeah. The jiggling the cannons is him deciding what to do. Um, it's kind, it's deceptively hard to time this shot with the finger. Uh, to, like, fire the cannonballs back at him. Um, because if you miss... If you just... They go in an arc, and if you miss the arc... Like, that one, I almost shot too late. That would have been too low. Oh, there's a lot of... jiggling those cannons. What's that? He's jiggling them, jiggling yeah. those cannons. I know, man. He's really showing us this stuff. So I'm gonna switch to Hammer Guy for the next segment. It's just a little easier, and then the boss also weak to hammers, believe it or not. So here's I'm the weak to hammers, ship. too. I know. Aren't we all? Not um, me. The way to progress here is this tiny single block here. There's nowhere else to go but up. We gotta swing and then jump over those cannons because they're solid objects even when they're dead, unfortunately. So this is, um, this is the third twin from Third Strike. Uh, you got Yoon and Yang, and then you've got, um, uh, the pirate dog. <laughs> they messed up the name Who? which came there. <laughs> yeah, get fucked, Jamie. Who? See, he's crossing me up. Who? Uh, also the room rotates. So the dive kicks are RNG. You want him to not dive kick. You want him to shoot. Uh, and that was pretty bad RNG. But what can you do, man? The other thing about the RNG in this fight is that um, with many games that have rotating rooms like this, like Castlevania 4, um, if it's in the middle of rotating and you beat the boss, the, the room s sometimes will go through another rotation and then rotate back even after the boss is dead thankfully it didn't happen here but this game full of ways to lose tons of time yeah that boss uses like a an old power from one of the map
magical games where you have the hook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, very another very chill stage. I'm going to do a lot of swimming, and then uh, the platforming part is kind of insane. <laughs> so, this is probably the hardest stage execution-wise besides the last stage, which I guess makes sense because it's stage 5 or 4 or whatever. Uh, hey, you're blocking my... Never mind. So all of this damaging down is intentional. Um, because we're going to do something similar to last stage, where I die uh, two stages ago, and I die and use the balloon to like maneuver through a stage. Don't take, take damage. So good. I just need to not damage anymore. I've been saying this. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, I was worried about that. Alright, no problem. It's only like a 15 second loss. You just save having to do this little area. Um, that one's pretty hard. The positioning has to be perfect. Ugh, I stuck on and then to add insult to injury, I now have to switch back to hammer. <laughs> So this is Octillery for you Pokemon fans. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. We're going to crush Octillery with a hammer if you've ever wanted to do that. Yes. Moody son of a bitch. I'm going to add Octillery to the wiki after you do it. Can you guys believe Spike Vegeta is not going to be playing this in SNES Mania? Because it didn't come out in the West. I try not to think about that. So it means he's not playing Thracia either. Sheesh. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's pretty fucked up. Yeah, That'd be one of the last games as well. That'd be crazy. This is incredibly good luck. Holy shit. So between every cycle, he can go out to the sea, and you'll see him like he did at the beginning. Wow. That was really fast. And then he just didn't do it for the rest of the he fight. He looks like he's just trying to, like, poke you lightly with his tentacle. Yeah, kind of. And now we drown Donald in the barrel. Bye-bye, <laughs> Donald. Damn. Oh, shit. Damn. I'm dead. It's over. <laughs> it's, over. it's over. It's over. I had Donald as toast now. Game does this own. Game I agree. All right, so some quick snowy detour here with uh, some ominous music to let you know that you're close to the end of the game, but not quite. Uh, so this game, this stage has a weird mechanic with walking on the snow, where if you continually walk on the snow, you'll gain these little snowballs that build up under your feet, and you get taller but slower, and uh, and then they break, and it's awkward. Um. We'll use that to our advantage somewhat, but mainly, you kind of have to just left, right. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> there are certain things you can do to avoid the building up of the snow on your feet. Like wearing shoes. So true. You're just talking about just, just yes. winter tips. <laughs> God, that dumpy. Jesus, man. Yeah, Donald's got a, got a real dumpy for sure. Okay. 
And so there you get to see the snowshoe mechanic a little bit. It's pretty like sick. Just let it ride. One last costume change for the boss. I say that like I'm not gonna costume change like four times next stage. It's all good. This is the Yeti. It's very easy. Just hide in your barrel after you hit him. It looks like you can double hit him, and even if you can, um, this game is kind of like Final Fantasy Adventure for the Game Boy, where you see that meter that's charging up from my hammer. That actually matters in terms of how much damage I do to this boss. And so while you can double hit him, it's actually like a net loss. Uh, over just waiting, waiting for your hammer to charge. Please don't jump on my head. Very chill stage. Uh, and chill boss. I'm pretty cold. Yeah, are you cold? Uh, I'm pretty cold. Winter stage. Yeah, we're rolling around at the speed of sound. Yeah. Let's kill as he's running around. Oh, apparently I named the last split on this <laughs> in my splits. Hey, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Peter! <laughs> hey, Peter! I don't remember this. The last time I did an actual RTA of this was, like, years ago. There's a bunch of one-ups in that block. This screen is really hard with these little flame guys that jump out of the candles. Also, running on the stairs, like, makes it so you can't quickly turn around. It's very weird with how it affects your controls, like, pseudo-ice physics. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna switch back to climber mode here. This is uh, the last auto scroller in the game. It's pretty tough. Um, you basically have to climb up all these posts, but as you can see, these platforms are big and round, right? So you can't climb. It will basically stop you uh, from climbing up any further. So you have to navigate between the pillars. Uh, you also can't climb where there's a heat face shooting fire at you. That makes sense. just have to maneuver through here and try not to die. Also, this song is a banger. Like every song. But... Oh my god, my guys. My cock. Thanks, Gil. Gil. I think Gil is going to be at 2 o'clock hours from now, man. So I'm, just, I'm hanging out on the left side here because there's an easy... It's easier to climb this way and also there's a visual cue. Um, I'm gonna, again, use a death slash balloon to, uh, whoa, expedite platforming. I mean, I can get up there in time. Okay, we're good. Killa definitely saw how many people are playing code names. He's like, yeah, I can skip. Now it's refights. Um, if you're familiar with Mega Man, it's nothing like that. <gasps> just gonna fight two or two or three of them. There's an extra heart container right there that I picked up just for safety. You absolutely don't have to get it, but it wastes no time. So why not? So we're back to jiggling cannon, man. Oh my and god. Starting off with some really bad RNG. <laughs> really bad RNG. Never wanted somebody to shoot me so bad that I do right now. Oh, why I'm supposed to be damaging down on this guy, I forgot. Why is why is he like this? It's so cool. Oh, I, I fired too late. You walked right into him. Well, walking right into him is what you want. Um, we're gonna do a death abuse thing after this fight. Let's skip some platforming, some basic platforming. Thank God. This is a speed run, so why wouldn't I throw away an entire life to? <laughs> that is speed running. <laughs> to practice a speed run. Yeah. No, to throw away an entire life to skip a few seconds of platforming. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I took damage from his dead body. Okay, good. Alright, we're down to one heart. This is important. 
music just glitched really hard. Holy shit. So this is uh, Evil Goofy with a wooden spoon. We'll see him later. Goofy, Evil that Goofy has mind. terrible vibes. Well, that's good, because we're killing him with hammers. Good. So normally you'd have to, like, whoops. Oh no! I didn't I switched to the wrong costume. Okay, whatever. Um, normally you'd have to use the magic hand to make that platform float and get up there. That, that spike, uh, the wall with the spikes below it that I skipped with the balloon. But, uh, yeah, I died instead. Oh. Forgot where you came into the battle. Ooh. Nice. That's good luck at the end. Yeah, that dive kick angle would definitely cross your shit up in the corner. This boss fight is annoying, um, primarily for the fact, actually, that Evil Goofy does not, like, make a sound when you hit him. It's very bizarre. There's no, like, auditory feedback that you've hit him. You just have to, like, look. Damn, it's so sad. He's just used to it. Yeah, Pete probably does awful things to him. <laughs> yeah. This is Disney, after all. Maybe he likes it. Maybe. He likes being told what to do. Mm -hmm. It's around the washing machine. So, I think... So, he splits into two there, and I think that you can hit either of them. I don't think there's a right one and a wrong one. You can just hit him. <laughs> or you've been really lucky your whole life. Yeah. You've got potentially <laughs> that, too. Alright, so we've made it. Mage Pete. Arguably cooler than his magical quest counterpart. Uh, definitely easier. Hey, Peter! Hey, Peter. So you see that ring he's Mage got on Peter. that big old diamond, huh? Boink! We're gonna hit it with the hammer. Let's him summon boulders, or logs, that he then lights on fire. Gotta be something better to do with the ability to summon stuff. Right, I know. Slow, it's just really like slow, and if I just put out all his flames, then they don't ever light the log on fire, and I don't ever take damage. It's very nice. Guy, guy must be like an illusion mage in a role-playing game, but just like has no creativity. Yeah, basically. Oh, I let him light the log. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. yeah. Log. <laughs> all right. Fire it up. So he's going to costume change now into phase two where he gets a javelin. Uh, and I can That's double hit him. definitely better than fire logs. Yeah, no, it's much more practical. Uh, I can double hit him, but it's hard. So we'll see if we can get it. it Take six hits total. <laughs> Why didn't you do the curtain? He only changed his hat. What? He changed one. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> he changed everything. <laughs> hmm. Like, don't see my scalp. Dying there actually could have sucked. I could have hit him again. Okay, no double hit on that one since I clipped his snake lance. Hey, yo. Okay, he's dead. It's GG. GG. Wow, new PB. <laughs> nice. <laughs> really? Nice yeah. job. 29.43, that's a PB. Dude. <laughs> I PB by 20 Dude. seconds. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So you're saying that was the first time you cut the 30? That's the first time I cut the 30, exactly, yeah. Hell yeah. What's your opinion on that, rib kill? <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> game oh! Thank you guys for scheduling this and hanging out with me this Saturday morning. Even though it's that was awful. perfect. Perfect fit. What a start to the week. Me on Saturday. What a start to the week. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, play, play this game. Them. It's cool. Uh, it, it's fun. Learn the learn the run. It's very easy to learn. It's it's very friendly, and especially if you like somehow haven't gotten into speed running or figured out whether you like it or not. <laughs> In 2024, this is a good 
good intro game. Sometimes you just gotta play these like 30 minute platformers. It's just, it's fun to do. Yeah. Okay. We have Mario Party 7 coming up. Holy I think, shit. I think, the, I think the call will be a bit more lively by then. No, that's great. We got uh, Bass, Cassis B, myself, and Rename. The top two will go to Sunday and fight Lambo and used pizza. Yeah, the Mario Sunday Party. challenge is not Mario Party, it's a brawl. Yeah, we're just going to kill each other. It's actually <laughs> just a cage. Somehow. We got the corn maze ready. <laughs> Somehow, somebody needs to manage to beat Lambo. On some With like hammers? hammers? Or... With hammers. No, in Mario Party. <laughs> Lambo's just unstoppable. I'm just gonna only attack you, Pizza. That's what I'm gonna do. You have to win today first. Oh shit, you're right. Bold, bold claim, considering you haven't even made it to the finals. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go to the transition screen. Enjoy Boy Changer OST. Bye.